did you like it, Howard? How did it's you like that? It's a beautiful that? instrument. It sounds wonderful. It's so different from the way it sounded before. Yeah. You've done a wonderful restoration. I can imagine um, it was in pretty rough shape. It was. It sounds incredible. I can't Thank wait you. to play it more. I mean, it's amazing. The touch is incredible. I can't wait. And now I'm going to play something. And all the romance that this instrument has to offer. Yeah. Can, um, I'd like to ask Daniel to tell us um, now a little bit about what he's done to restore the instrument for the club. Okay. Well, the first thing, if we look over here, the first thing that was done was to repair the soundboard, which had several cracks. If you look underneath, you can see all the repairs. There's a couple dozen. And then the, uh, the bridges were all cracked, so I consolidated those with museum quality epoxy to stabilize the tuning pins, then restrung it with new pins, new pin block for the tuning new, pins. New strings, new pins, new hammers, right? Yes, I also put new egg grafts on, which uh, wasn't on the contract, but I threw those in. Wow. What are egg grafts? They're on. Uh, the little uh, brass things that the strings go through, right here. Oh, they look sharp. So the uh, the original ones were getting old and probably brittle. It looks so beautiful. It looks new. And uh, so we replaced those. This is also one of your new. Well, ones, I right? just cleaned this. This clean was clean. Everything was cleaned up. It new, looks new. Yeah, new felt on the uh, dampers. So the dampers are original, but the felt is new. Correct. Okay. 
and there's no hammers in the action. Every, all the other parts were fairly new from 1985 or six. Howard, what did you think of the action compared to before? Amazing, Amazing. much lighter. Right, so I did, nimble, I did change the weight of the action by uh, um, changing the uh, leverage of the, the hammers. And legato phrasing is so much easier. Yes, and I also replaced before. the capstans, which diminished the weight of the touch. Tell us about the position of the hammer on the point on the hammer that you said the previous right, so restoration. Originally, the, uh, whoever had done it before had strung the, or had uh, installed the hammers too far this way. And on Steinway, it should be moved out to five and one eighth, which affects the tone of the whole instrument. So was the old tone much darker as I recall? Cool. Well, it was probably not ideal because you want the hammer to hit one seventh or one ninth of the total string distance. Okay. So when you when you change that, especially up in the uh, treble area, the melody area, it can affect the tone drastically. I love it. It's definitely clearer and more upfront yes, than it was be, before. Be it's really right there. Before it was duller. So the hammers are Weikert felt. Renner, German felt, very well made. Mary, give us a close up to show when this piano was built. Well, that wasn't when it was built. Okay. Well, before <laughs> it was before 70. That's, that's the patent on the metal plate. Well, that means okay, that. Okay, let it me had go been around before. because I'm in the no, wrong no, direction. It was just patented. At so the... when was it built? Um, I'll look that up for you. It's on the contract. <laughs> oh. Steinway B, serial number 131999, manufactured in 1908. Oh. It's before the Model T was out. <laughs> wow. And uh, you can tell by the design on the plate that it's old. And previously refurbished at some point in its life. It's probably refurbished in about 1995 or six, somewhere in there. Because the, the new weapons, the newer weapons, have that date stamped on them. So I replaced the hammers, the back, back checks, key bushings, capstans, and uh, that's about it on the action. Did you replace the strings? All the strings are new. Wow. New tuning pins, new pin block, new A graphs. Now, tell the um, members of the club what kind of uh, preventive maintenance has to be done to keep this instrument back in, kind of like a, uh, you ha when you get a, a new car, you have to break it in, so to speak. Right. So any piano that's been restrung or had major work like this should be tuned at least three or four times in the first year, if not more. More is better because the strings keep stretching and they, they need to stabilize. So if, if the club could tune it uh, as often as they can, at least before each performance would be good. And then after about 100 hours of playing, the hammers should be uh, voiced. And they can be voiced before that to even it out, of course. But the, the hammers will get a little brighter over time with, with the amount of playing. So they do need to be voiced and maybe filed at some point. Do you, do you tune pianos here? I do tune and voice pianos, but I'm kind of slowing down, getting towards uh, retirement. Huh. So, um, Daniel has recommended both Brian's, well, Brian, Brian Scott, Scott. Paul Williams. With, Brian Scott's an excellent uh, technician. He could care for this yeah. beautifully. I've met Brian, he's wonderful. Yeah. Of course, he's getting older too, so. Aren't we all? Yes. No, but thank you so much for that information. Oh, want, sure. It's going to help the club to know yeah. these things. Maintenance is always good. At some point, the action will need to be regulated or adjusted, just like an engine. You know, the valves need to be adjusted on an engine and so forth. And same with a piano. Everything needs adjustment over a period of time. Things wear and get out of adjustment. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks,